Hi friends, welcome to another video of Big Tech Talk. In today's video, we will learn how to use select method for selecting columns from data frame using Apache Spark and Scala. So, let's start the video. Spark select is a transformation function that is used for selecting columns from data frame and data set. Select method takes two arguments of type either all string or all columns but will not take mix of both. It means if you pass string and column type in a single select statement, you will get a compile time error. So, we can implement select method in broadly three different ways. First is the column as a string. In this style, column names are mentioned as a string in the select method as an argument. For example, let's say you have a data frame with the column name as id, season, city, date, team1 and team2. So, your select statement will look like df which is a data frame object dot select and followed by your column names. We can implement select method as a data frame object style. In this style, data frame object with the column name is mentioned as an argument in the select method. For example, if we take the previous data frame column, then our select method will look like df.select and inside this df followed by the column name. Now we can write the select function using column name as instance of column class. If we want to use column, we need to import org.apache.spark.sql.function.column and then select function is written as column and then the column names. For example, df.select and in the bracket col followed by the column name. Now, let me go to my clips ID and write some code to implement the select method which we have already discussed. This is my clips ID. I have already created a project with the name as learning spark and com.spark.tutorial is my package name. So let me create a Scala object. Right click on the package, go to new and Click on other. Search for Scala object. Give a name to your Scala object. I will give the name as select example. And then click on finish. So this is my Scala object. Let me create a main method. So I will write def main args which is array of type string. Now, the first step will be to create a Spark instance. So, I will write val spark equals to spark session dot builder dot app name. I will set the app name as spark select example and then dot master. I will set the master as local since I am running Spark on my local system and at last get or create. Ok, so my Spark session object is created. Now let me read a CSV file. So I will write val df equals to Spark which is a Spark session object dot read dot format. I will mention the format as CSV and then load where I will mention the path of the file. So let me go to my input file location. I will copy this path and paste it over here. And matches.csv is the file name. Let's have a look to our input file by df.show. Let's save the code and execute it. Right click, 
run as Scala application. Looks like my input file already has column header. So we need to adjust it while reading the file. And we have so many log info coming over here. So let's change them to error logs only. To have error logs, I will type logger, which is of type apache.log4j dot get logger of org and set level. I will set the level as error. Now I will get only error logs. Let's take care of the column names in the input file. So after the format, in the option I will mention header as true. Let's execute the code and see. Right click run as Scala application. So our input looks good with proper column names. So let's implement select method using column as a string. For that, I will write println select function using column name as a string. And to implement it, I will write df.select over here, I will mention the column name. Let's say I want ID, season, city, date, team 1, and team 2. And at the end, I will write dot show 10, comma, false. I only want 10 records and truncate to the record is set to false. Let's save the code and execute it. Right click run as Scala application. As you can see, output contains the column names which are selected. Now let's perform the same select operation using data frame as an object name. So I will write println select function using data frame object name. Now I will write df.select and inside the select function I will write df and the column name and the same thing I will do for the rest of the column. Since this column basically means year, so I can rename a column using alias. And at the end, I will write dot show. This select function should also give us the same output as the previous select statement. So let's save the code and execute it. Right click run as Scala application. As you can see, both gives the same output, even the selection style is different. Now, Let's perform the same select operation using column function. So I will import org.apache.spar.sql.function and in the curly braces I will mention column that is col comma expression. So over here I will write println select function using column function and df.select and inside the select function col and the column name. I will do the same thing for the rest of the column and at the end dot show. So this select statement should also give us the same output as the previous two select statement. Let's save the code and execute it. Right click run as Scala application. As you can see, all the select statement gives the same result, even 
we have used different ways to select the columns. You can even use the combination of data frame object and column function in one select statement. So to implement column function and data frame object in a single select statement, I will copy this and paste it over here. In place of column, I can write df and at the end, I will use expr which is an expression function in which I can mention SQL functions. For example, concat team1, comma team2 as teams. And if I execute this, you will see it will work fine. Because select method takes arguments of type only string or of type column. And data frame object and column returns object of type column. So we can use their combination in one select statement. So let's save the code and execute it. Right click run as Scala application. As you can see, all the select statement gives the same result. Now we have to understand which type of select method to be used and when. Type 1 which is column name as string can be used if you have to select few columns and don't want to perform any SQL operation on the columns. Whereas column type and data frame object should be used when you have to perform some operation on the columns while selecting them. So we are done with today's video. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section. Do hit the like button and subscribe for more such videos. Thank you.